Hey, Tony, you've been running into some trouble. Uh, somebody's attacking you electronically. Uh, what type of devices do you think they're using? How long has this been going on, Mr. Kelly? Well, it's been going on quite a, quite a long time. I mean, they're using microwave weapons, lasers. I was, I was uh, burned on the arm with a laser coming from Whitney one night after a show. I got two burn marks on my arm. But see, uh, the, the, the thing that happens and when you when you report something like that, I went to the VA the next day, and they were, they referred me to the psychiatrist. See, that's what that's one of the ploys that they use. Um, if you can't prove what they're doing, then they, they, you end up being scrutinized because they think that you're something's mentally wrong with you. Okay, but these burns around my eye. On my face, on my nose, um, they're, they're they're from weapons. They're military grade microwave and laser type weapons. How do you know? Because I I know I feel it, and I, I I know that these things sit they hoover over my house all night long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like right now, I'm being burned in my back. Okay. Um, yeah, they they use uh, chemical weapons uh, to influence to to mess with my breathing. We see if I'm like traveling on a country road or something like that, they'll stop right over in front of the, the other car. An aircraft or uh, helicopter, helicopter. You know, and uh, if I leave the windows down, my, I can feel that my breathing suffers. Okay, just like when when my father was got ill. You know, all of a sudden he couldn't breathe, and he had never had breathing problems before. I never had breathing problems before, but all of a sudden I have them now. <clears throat> right now, my, you can hear my voice. I'm kind of going out, and, and, and that's not me, okay? Um, but right now my throat is being targeted. It's been targeted ever since I said I was going to talk to you today. Okay, ever since I got up, and, and it's every morning, if I don't cover myself, you know, in the morning, then I'm on, I'm on, I end up with a lump right here. This one right there now. In my throat. Are you on any kind of medication that would uh, attack your thyroid uh, no. process? No. No. So this is not just something that's confined to you. Uh, your father and your brother both have these kind of experiences. Can you tell us about it? Well, my brother just passed away Saturday. This is this is Monday. My brother passed away Saturday. That was at the twenty third. Um, and uh, all of a sudden, he de he developed a liver problems. Okay. Then then the rest of his system started shutting down. My father was eighty six years old. He never had a problem in his life. He was nice. He was he was robust. And then all of a sudden, he developed breathing problems. Just like I woke up one morning and couldn't breathe. Okay. Um, and then all of a sudden, his vital, his vital organs started to deteriorate. Okay. And then all of, all of a sudden, he ends up with heart problems. And then the, 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 the doctor, and I, I, here's my right hand to God. I really think that the doctors had something have something to do with it, too. You know, just like the, the police. You know, I go to the police, and they look at me like I'm crazy. Okay. I call the FBI, and they say, yeah, okay. And they hang up. They don't talk to me. You know, they'll say, okay, I, I said, well, I'm going get to get it written up, you know, a, a record of, of what I'm telling you, that, uh, you know, what I'm reporting. They hang up. And I called the Waco police. And then I, I called them out because I woke up and radiation was hitting me in my face while I was laying in the bed. Okay. What does it feel like? It's It's hot. It's hot, and it's like it's like a stream of, of, of like somebody has a blow dryer on your face. You know, like right now on my back, it feels like a blow dryer on my back. And I, I've, I've had a lot of people come in to like when I walk into a room and I'm sitting talking to somebody, it gets hot in the room. Okay, so it's and I, I've had people that I'm playing with, but that, that I'm performing with, start coughing because of the carcinogens that are being put into the air. It's 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 an ongoing thing, and one one of the one of the things that, that these people do is try to discredit you or make you look stupid at what you do. I'm a musician. I sing. Okay.
okay. I, I, and I, you know, I, I, I develop breathing problems while I'm on the microphone, while I'm singing, or or I get cramps in my hands while I'm playing. Um, my, my throat is targeted. If I don't have, if I don't have some type of protective covering, you know, like right now, this is this is this is the same radiation shield that the, the X, X-ray technicians use. I won't tell you what's underneath there because I don't want them to know what I what else I've done. But it's not working right now. So they know, but you know, there, there's been enough pictures taken of me with this on to, for them to know. You've been playing bass and uh, singing rhythm and blues now for how many years? Golly, more than 40 years. And this wasn't like this then. I mean, this is just here about how recent. Well, um, it started getting bad the last the last four or five years. You know, it, it started it, well, it, well, let me say it like this. It started getting bad the last three years. Okay, we put our new CD out last June, and uh, since then I've been I've been targeted even more. You know, um, radiation and while I'm asleep, uh, uh, unknown carcinogens being filtered into my house. I don't know how they do it through through the ceiling. See, and, and instead, of, my father before he died, he was saying, "I feel something tingling on me. Something's tingling on me on my skin. What is that?" See, same thing, same thing. I get the, I've, I've, I've had the same sensations, but they're, but they're more aggressive with me. You know, like, okay, they got rid of my brother, they got rid of my father, and then now I guess I'm next. Well, I mean, can you pinpoint anything you've done to anger the defense types, the, the war machine? No, I don't. You know, I don't understand it at all. Now. If, they, if I'm an undesirable, somebody needs to tell me so I can leave the country. You know, because I'd be glad to do that if that's if that's it would get get them to leave my family alone. Oh man, that's too much. You don't need to be leaving your own country. Well, you know, my country is is raising war on me it, for for no reason. You know, I mean, I was with a girl that sold that sold drugs. She's in prison now. So that, you know, I don't know if, they, if it stems from that, but why, why would my father and brothers be in my mother, my cousins? You know, there's something to this. There's something to this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what, but there's something more to it than, than, than just them, than, them just picking a person randomly. This is designed, you know. Yeah, well, let me tell you. If you go to to um, YouTube and, and look up Freedom FCHS, he'll, the, 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 uh, Derek Robinson, who is the president of the organization, I'm a, I'm a member of the organization. He'll tell you. He, he tells you it's 67 percent of the people are people who are single and they live alone. Okay, there's somebody out there. Uh, some people I've listened to online say that the only real remedy for this is spiritual. Have you made any moves that way? Yeah, I I, um, I was connected with some lady with a lady uh, named uh, Gay Lito, who was from uh, New York, and uh, she has a, a, a online ministry called Wisdom Wisdom Above Gold. But when she found out the name of my band. She said I was working for the enemy. The name of my band is Mojo Assassins. So she says I'm working for the enemy. You know. Well, I mean, y'all just try to come on like a bunch of badass dudes anyway. I, mean. <laughs> I don't understand that. You know, I, when she told me that, I went like, so that's not why. The, so that's why you weren't calling me and stuff like that. You know, I went like, that's absurd. I didn't even choose the name. Well, I mean, do you have a black cat bone or something? I mean, no, no. See, it's supposed to be we're assassinating the mojo. You know, we're killing the mojo. Whatever mojo has been, been worked on, our music will kill that, you know. But I don't know, it make you feel better. But I don't know. I'm working for, I'm working for the same people that are targeting me, so that makes sense to you. Yeah, it made plenty of sense to me, man. I've spent a lot of time down in New Orleans and Memphis, places I know how folks are. My dad is from Louisiana, you know, and I'm going to tell you,
tell you one thing he taught me was never mess around with anything like that. Oh no, man! It's something, if it's something you don't understand, don't play. Leave it alone. But I, you know, I'm, 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 I've gotten closer to God, you know, since since this has been going on, and I learned a lot from uh, from Gay, you know, the, the lady who I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, if she wants to excommunicate me from the program, then I guess I'm excommunicated. God knows what's really going on, you know. Well, if you if you don't squawk, they'll probably invite you back so you can pick on just more. <laughs> this is something I've read in my, my research. They say the most effective defense against this thing is to remember you're not a bad actor. You're, you're somebody's being targeted by people who are behaving in a very criminal way. They're attacking you. How do you feel about that? Well, I think that, you know, it's... It's a disgrace as far as the country is concerned. Well, do you think it might be some type of research to see how this can be done? Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean, how long do they have to research it? You know, you know what I mean. There's people that have said that that this has been happening to them for 20 years. So it's just a, um, it's not mild, but it's not anything that came right away. No, it's called slow kill. Look that up. Okay, targeted individual, slow kill. I noticed that you have a coin in your left ear. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, because uh, I'm, I'm, I get shot through my ear, and it affects my throat. What uh, denomination coin is it? It's a quarter. <laughs> you got big ears, man. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to add that uh, that folks really should know about? You know, really, I just think that the American people need to be made aware of this. Okay, uh, there needs there need to there need to be hundreds of thousands of people that say this is an injustice. This is this is this is a travesty. This is murder. It's being funded by the United States government. The United States government is funding murder. That's a cold-blooded thing, my man. And I'm being systematic.